Hi, I'm Mina from Blue White, and in this video, I'll be demonstrating how to calibrate our one series peristaltic metering pumps. We suggest performing a calibration when you install a new metering pump or whenever there's a tube replacement for optimal performance. Today, I'll be using an M1 pump, and the process is the same for our A1, A1A, and M1 peristaltic metering pumps. So let's get started. We suggest you perform your pump calibration with the fluid that you'll be pumping. Items you'll need for calibration are a chemical tank, calibration column, and personal protection equipment. The simplest way to perform a calibration is by utilizing the prime feature on our one series pumps. This feature will run the pump at 100% motor speed for 60 seconds. Here we have the M1 pump. Our suction line is pulling through from a chemical tank that is below the pump The discharge line is feeding into a calibration column. In this example, I've already run the pump to fill the column to the zero line. Now that the line is filled with fluid, I'm going to begin the pump calibration by pushing the prime button. Again, this will run the pump at 100% motor speed for 60 seconds. Once the pump has completed the 60 second prime process, measure the fluid within the calibration column. In our example, our pump primed to 263 milliliters in a minute. Using the equation desired flow rate divided by max flow rate times 100, write down your desired flow rate divided by the max flow rate and multiply by 100. For example, my desired flow rate is 26 milliliters a minute. 26 divided by 263 times 100 equals 9.88. 9.88 is the motor speed that the pump should be running at to achieve 26 milliliters a minute. And that's how you calibrate your one series peristaltic metering pump. For further questions or assistance, please reach out to us at customer service at blue-white.com. Thank you for watching this episode of the Blue White Academy. For more information, please visit blue-white.com.